Okay, uh, this is going to be part two of my vector basics, and, and the other part one I talked about vector addition and scalar multiplication graphically. So now I just want to talk about components, doing these things algebraically, and then also finding a vector um, representation that go when a vector goes from a point A to a point B. So this was my same vector as in um, the last one. I, I changed things up a little bit. But if you look at the vector that starts at the origin and goes to the point 2 comma 3, so 2 units to the right and 3 units up, um, it ends at the point 2 comma 3. So um, this notation represents a point in the plane and when we use parentheses. The way that we describe this vector v is we basically say, okay, if it was at the origin, what, what, what point is it ending at? Well, it's the point 2 comma 3, and what we do is we put 2 comma 3, we put it in these little, uh, the, this, this notation where it looks like there's little kind of uh, a less than and greater than sign, so just kind of little arrows um, on either side. So the way we describe this vector v is by saying it's the vector um, 2 comma 3. Okay, so again, we talked about how, pos uh, how vectors are in... Um, it doesn't matter where they're situated in the plane. So if you look at this vector, again, it goes two units to the right, three units up, so it's got the same direction, the same length as our red vector. Likewise, this vector down here at four comma negative five, it goes two units to the right and three units up. So this vector down here, all of the vectors are equivalent vectors, okay? But when we, situ when we situate our vector at the origin, we call that the position vector. Okay, we call these components. Um, so two and three are both the are what are called components. Um, are called components of the vector. We got cut off there. Um, so again, two comma three. These are what are known as components of the vector. So you know, if somebody said. Um, you know, draw the vector v that has components, let's say, negative 3, comma, uh, 4. Well, again, all that vector is, it basically moves 3 units to the right, you go 4 units up, you think about where that dot is, and vector v would be the vector that starts at the origin and points at that dot, that's where it ends. So kind of where it ends, it tells you obviously the, the you know, dictates the, the length or the magnitude of the vector. Okay, so um, no big deal. Um, a couple things here. Um, suppose we want to know a vector. Okay, so we want to figure out a vector. Suppose we have the point um, 2 comma 1. And then we have a vector over here, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I don't know, how about 6? Okay, so let's put a point up here at uh, 5, comma 6. So down here at 2, comma 1, and a point up here at 5, comma 6. And we want a vector that basically starts at the point 2, comma 1, and stops at the point 5, comma 6. Um, this is not actually um, too bad at all. All we do to find a, re a vector representation, so let me call this the point A, and let me call this the point B, and again, we want um, a representation for this vector V. All we have to do in this case to find a representation for vector V, um, the way we'll denote this um, is we'll write, sometimes we'll denote it as the vector that starts at A and ends at B. So this is also um, new notation. And what it says in this case, all we have to basically do is we take, um, so let's call 5, we'll call this the point um, x sub 2 comma y sub 2, let's call 2 comma 1, this will be our point x sub 1 comma y sub 1. You have to be very careful about the order in which you do things here. Um, you have to take the, the stopping x-coordinate, subtract away the starting x-coordinate, take the, the kind of the, the stopping point the, of the y-coordinate and the starting point of where the vector starts. 
So in this case, our vector representation, we would simply take 5 minus 2, comma, 6 minus 1, and it says that vector would have representation 3, comma, 5. Okay, so again, we can say vector v um, has representation 3, comma, 5. Okay, so pretty easy. Um, all you're doing is subtracting x coordinates, subtracting y coordinates. Notice if we switch the x coordinates and the right co y coordinates around, um, if we did x1 minus x2 and y1 minus y2, well, now you'd be finding the vector, that same vector, but in the opposite direction. Okay, so, um, so order matters because that will dictate the direction that you get. All right, so um, two other things here. Let's just talk about adding vectors um, algebraically and multiplying by a scalar. So this is pretty easy. Um, so suppose I have a vector that just goes, let's say, um, over two units and up two units. 